We are just days away from 2013 and resorts around the city have been busy preparing to ring in the new year. Whether you plan on celebrating at a nightclub or an upscale restaurant, be assured that there is something for everyone this year, including a New Year's Eve concert featuring the Village People. The group has been around for over 35 years and have produced many, many popular songs. We talked to group member Eric Anzalone, aka The Biker, and he tells us what to expect when the Village People come to town. to the show, Eric. Hey, thank you, Whitney. It's good to be here. <laughs> yeah, this is so awesome. Tell us about the village people. You play the biker? Yes. The well, leather joy boy, the biker, the leather man, leather person, I guess is more politically correct. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, that's cool. We definitely enjoy it, especially when you come and perform in Atlantic City. That's always really fun. Tell us about how long you guys have been performing. I know the band's been around for over 35 years. Yes, uh, this would be our what we're referring to as our 35th year uh, anniversary tour. Okay. Um, it's it's amazing. Uh, we, we you know we we still have a following all over the world, and we're blessed, and we we did never take that for granted. Well, uh, speaking fact, of you, yeah, go yeah, ahead. speaking of that, I know you have a following all over the world. You've actually traveled all over the world to so many different countries. Can you tell us about your experiences? Uh, sure. Well, as a matter of fact, about a week ago, we got home from one, about one month on the road. Wow. Uh, we started out in the Bahamas. Uh, we did a thing in Atlantis, came home for a day and then left for the Philippines, went from the Philippines to Australia, from Australia to New Zealand, from New Zealand to Quebec, straight to Quebec, and then came home. That was a month. Wow. So, uh, but this year we've been to South Africa, we've been to Europe, we've been to South America, we've been, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, literally I've been around the world this year. And uh, again, we we are blessed to uh, have fans that still follow us. And in this business, you know, bands come and go in a couple of years, but, you know, 35 oh. years so. That is definitely true. Right now, I mean, I was just going to ask you that too. There's so many new bands, so many new artists out there. But the village people really just have a presence everywhere. You can't go to a party without hearing one of your songs. The coolest thing, I think, is you know, you're performing in Atlantic City. You've traveled all around the world, yet for New Year's Eve, so many people are going to see you perform. How cool is that? It, it is. And, and it's actually cool for us because we're uh, all in the tri-state area, New York, uh, New Jersey, and Connecticut. And um, three of us are from New Jersey, actually. Okay. So it's kind of neat to play close to home. Uh, we always enjoy playing playing Atlantic City, but uh, it, you know, on New Year's Eve, it seems like we're, you know, in Nowheresville, United States, or sometimes we're over right. in Europe somewhere. T to actually kind of be home and be around our loved ones and friends and all the people down in AC too, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. So. And I will admit, I went one year on New Year's Eve and saw you at the Tropicana before. <laughs> really? Yeah, when I was, did. We've, I knew we've done the Trop before on New Year's Eve. When was that? Do you remember? It was quite a few years ago. I was trying to remember the date, but I did go. I went with my mom. We had a great time. <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> it was great. Now, I know you guys have sold over 100 million records, and you also are part of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You have a star. How does that yeah. feel? <sighs> Again... <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's a blessing. Um, the 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 star uh, was kind of like Christmas morning. You know, it was just like one of those things that you just never expect that you'd be doing. And there we were, um, you know, giving our our speeches on Hollywood Boulevard and, and the unveiling of the star. It was just really a, a cool moment that I'll never forget. And um, and you know, selling the hundred million records and you know. Sometimes we even think, oh, my gosh, this group is bigger than any of us. We forget sometimes how the, the, uh, how the success that we've had because we just, to us, it's our, it's our lives, you know. But of course. It, is, it is bigger than we are. Well, you're just people, you know, but you happen to have really great talent and people love that. And okay. I can imagine, I'm sure you've received some really crazy gifts from fans. What's one of the craziest gifts you've ever received? Oh, uh, 
gifts. Uh, yeah, I've got you know, being being leather joy boy, being the leather guy. You know, I've gotten some pretty interesting things that I'm not even sure that uh, there are a couple of things I think I didn't even I, I kind of sanitized my hands afterwards oh, and just kind of left them there. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, not too many crazy things. Mostly just people like to give me uh, leather leather cuffs, uh, okay. rings, because I wear a lot of rings. I'm, and I, I feel bad taking them. I'm, they're really high quality stuff and wow. they just say, no, take it. So, um, <laughs> well, it must be very flattering when people maybe are you for Halloween. <laughs> oh, it, that is, that's always cool. And sometimes they're, they're, they look better and they come dressed for our shows like that too. They, they look better than, than I do or any of us, you know, we're like, oh my gosh, you're outdoing me. Uh, and <laughs> You know, my phone starts ringing around Halloween time saying, dude, um, can I borrow some of your costume? Yeah, for Halloween? I can imagine. You know? yeah, yeah. yeah, so I do get that. And my daughter even borrows uh, my costume sometimes. Oh, that's kind of nutty. So. Well, yeah. Eric, thank you so much. Tell us where we can find more information about the Village People. Do you have a website where we can check out? Oh, sure. Um, Officialvillagepeople.com. Uh, we, we are on Facebook as well. Um, but if you... If you want to go to the Facebook page that we actually interact with, it would be Official Village People. If you just go to the Village People fan page, it's, you know, we, we don't have anything to do with that. So Official Village People at Facebook uh, and uh, OfficialVillagePeople.com. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And we can see you at the Tropicana for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, the show, I believe we're starting around 9.30 and then we're going to go up to the, or down or over to the nightclub, it is a Boogie Nights. Yeah, thing. Boogie it's Nights. Woohoo! Woo and we're going we're gonna <laughs> to count, count down the, uh, we're going to, you know, count down to midnight uh, up there. Uh, so we'll be there at midnight in the, in the nightclub. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, Eric. We really appreciate your time. We can't wait to see you in Atlantic City and we hope many more years to come and we wish you so much success. So thank you so much. Thank you, Wendy. It's been great. Thank you. See, see you on New Year's. That's right. See you on New Year's. Well, there you have it, everybody. We just talked to Eric Anzalone. He is one of the performers from the iconic group, The Village People, and they are going to be in Atlantic City for New Year's Eve this year, so you have to check them out. For more information about The Village People's New Year's Eve concert at the Tropicana Atlantic City, visit our website at accessaclive.com.